Now on the last slide I say that the first extra gas lift module that you should consider installing is the one that is right above the packer over there. One question that you might wonder is why should you install a gas lift module if my deviation is higher than 60 degrees? So if I have a deviated well like that, and if the angle over there is higher than 60 degrees, basically I cannot access that gas lift module anymore with slick line. The limit angle with which I can work with slick line is 60 to 65 degree. So basically, if I put a gas lift module over there, I won't be able to access it anymore with slick line. So then it is a valid question to wonder if I should install a gas lift module if my deviation is higher than 60 degree. My answer remains the same. Yes, you should definitely install a gas lift module over there. So what can you do to still use that gas lift mandrel. Well, basically you could equip this gas lift mandrel with an orifice as you run the completion. So as you run the completion, you directly put an orifice at surface in that gas lift mandrel and you run it in your completion. So what will happen at the beginning is that because your tubing pressure will be too high at the depth of that last gas lift mandrel, you won't be able to inject any gas lift through that orifice and therefore it's going to behave more or less like a dummy. So if you were to place your orifice over there and you are able to inject gas lift through that mandrel over there, you're just going to inject your gas lift over there and no gas lift will circulate over there. Now with time, if your reservoir pressure decreases further and now you start to have a lower pressure in the tubing than in the casing at the depths of that mandrel, your injection will switch to that mandrel and the only thing you will need to do is do a gas lift design change to replace that orifice over there by an unloading valve. So if you fear that by running directly an orifice in that last gas lift mandrel, you might not achieve a positive pressure test of your completion at the end of your completion installation, what you could do is install a shearable orifice. So this, I described that device in my gas lift equipment training. So you could install that shearable orifice. So in that case, it will act like a dummy valve. And once you have the right condition to inject through that last orifice, you just have to shear the part plugging your orifice, and then you will have a normal orifice valve. The second solution that is available if your deviation is higher than 60 degrees is use the advanced kickover tool that can work up to 80 degrees. At least this is what the supplier says. So the advanced kickover tool is this kickover tool that I also describe in my gas lift equipment training. So it's basically a kickover tool with some extra roller at the top and at the bottom to allow it to be run in higher deviation wells. The last solution that is available for you to perform a gas lift design change in that mandrel over there would be to use a tractor to perform a gas lift design change. So tractors, we can see one in the drawing over there. It is basically a wireline tool. You run it with E-line, so or electric line. So it's basically a wireline unit where your cable is connected to a source of power. So you can send electric energy through that wire to power tools like this one. And these tools basically, it's a tractor. So basically it's equipped like wheels like that, that will start rolling and that will allow to run tools into highly deviated portion of your wells. So this type of tractor, you've got two companies that propose this service. One is named Welltech and the other one is named Kintera. So we're gonna take a quick look at a video proposed by Kintera where they actually show how they use a tractor to perform a gas lift design change. So right there, we see the tractor. We just saw the tractor. There we see that we catch the orientation sleeve with the kickover tool. The kickover tool kicks, and then we get inside of the mandrel to install the valve. 
So this is the sequence that I described already in my gas lift equipment training. So it goes a bit fast in the video, but right there we can see the wheels of the tractor over there. So basically the key cover tool that we saw is attached at the bottom of the tractor that we can see over there.